हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी बी पंथ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर उत्तराखंड इन दिस लेक्चर आई टेल यू अबाउट द नाइट्रोजन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन अंडर सब मर्च कंडीशन एक्चुअली इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन देर इज एरोबिक कंडीशन इन सॉइल एंड अमोनियम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टेक प्लेस इन टू नाइट्रेट देन नाइट्रेट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आर देयर सो देर इज ए नाइट्रोजन साइकिल सो बाय अमोनियम देर इज नाइट्रिफिकेशन नाइट्रेट फॉर्मेशन टेक प्लेस एंड दिस नाइट्रेट्स आर यूज बाय द प्लांट्स एंड अंडर एनरोबिक कंडीशन दिस नाइट्रेट्स आर सब्जेक्टेड टू डी नाइट्रिफिकेशन और इफ देर इज एक्सेज वाटर देन देर इज नाइट्रेट लीचिंग सिमिलरली अमोनियम मे बी सब्जेक्टेड टू वर्डलाइजेशन सो देर आर मैनी लॉसेज और देर इज ए डायनेमिक चेंज इन नाइट्रोजन सो नाइट्रोजन इज सब्जेक्टेड टू वेरियस लॉसेज एंड देर आर वेरी चेंज इन नाइट्रोजन फॉर्मेशन बट अंडर समर्ज कंडीशन पर्टिकुलरली इन राइस फील्ड वैन देर इज अ पडल्ड राइस और वाटर लॉट कंडीशन अंडर समर्ज कंडीशन दिस नाइट्रोजन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज इंटायरली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अपलैंड कंडीशन सो वट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट नाइट्रोजन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आई विल एक्सप्लेन हेयर सपोज दिस इज अल सर्फेस एंड वाटर इज प्रजेंट इन दिस इट इज समर्ज कंडीशन सो वाटर इज प्रजेंट एंड वाटर इज ऑल्सो प्रजेंट ऑन अपर soil surface and this is saturated condition so water is present at all the places so this condition is known as submerged condition and this is very a uh, common in case of transplanted rice so this question is asked in examination nitrogen transformation in rice transplanted field so puddling is there water is there so all the pores are filled with water whether it is macro pore or micro pore so water is present inside the soil and upper surface of soil so at this time water potential is zero so it is very uh, important that under some much condition water potential is zero and this is the maximum water potential if there is a aerobic condition means uh, water is not present in all the pores suppose micro pores are empty and water is present in only some pores then water potential is negative so in aerobic condition under upland condition water potential is negative so in general field water potential is negative but since water is present this this is water is present so all the pores are filled this is saturated condition submerged condition water locked condition then water potential is zero but what happens uh, this is air and this is water so air oxygen is diffused up to some distance so there is a diffusion of air and this diffusion of air through water layer is uh, uh, not easy it is difficult so but there is a diffusion diffusion of oxygen and similarly there is a diffusion of co2 into the atmosphere but this diffusion distance or we can say the depth is very less it is uh, uh, hardly uh, 12 mm so it is a millimeter 12 to 15 millimeter hardly means 1 to 1.5 cm it means in general 1 cm so up to the 1 cm there is a diffusion okay so oxygen is maintained because atmospheric air diffuse through the water jo atmospheric oxygen hai wo thodi si diffuse ho jati hai water ke through kuch distance tak is distance tak humne maan liya and this is about 1 cm and this zone is known as oxidized zone this is called oxidized layer or oxidized zone because oxygen diffusion take place and this is the reduced zone so there is deficiency of oxygen so be clear about the what is oxidized zone what is reduced zone to humko ye pata hona chahiye oxidized zone kya hoti hai reduced zone kya hoti hai oxide oxidized zone shuru ki टेन मिलीमीटर और ट्वेल्व मिलीमीटर अप टू द फिफ्टीन मिलीमीटर वो लेयर होती है जहाँ एटमोस्फेरिक एयर डिफ्यूज कर सकती है वाटर के थ्रू जाएगी तो एक रेजिस्टेंस डेवलप होता है वाटर के थ्रू लेकिन कुछ डिफ्यूजन हो जाता है तो एयर इज मेंटेन्ड सो दिस जोन इज कॉल्ड एज ऑक्सीडाइज जोन सो इफ सी टू इज प्रजेंट सी टू इज स्केप्ड इन टू द एटमोसफियर सो गैसियस एक्सचेंज टेक प्लेस इन ऑक्सीडाइज जोन ऑक्सीजन इज प्रजेंट बिकॉज देर इज डिफ्यूजन ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक एयर एंड बिलो दिस देयर इज रिड्यूज जोन वाटर इज फिल्ड so in every place every pore water is present so this is the reduced zone now the transformation in uh, nitrogen form 
so in reduced zone and oxidized zone the nitrogen transformation is different to main isko thoda sa bada kar de raha hu samajhne ke liye this is the uh, suppose this is the oxidized zone suppose this is okay and this in oxidized zone when we apply the ammonium ion ammonium containing fertilizer like urea suppose urea is applied then it is converted into ammonium and this ammonium since it is oxidized zone so aerobic microbes are present nitrosomonas is there nitro vector is there so this is converted into nitrate ion and nitrification process take place so it means in submerged field nitrification process take place in oxidized zone which depth is about 10 to 12 mm means about 1 cm to aisa nahi hai ki waterlog field mein nitrification nahi hota hai nitrification hota hai क्योंकि ऊपर की लेयर में कुछ ऑक्सीजन रहती है एटमॉस्फेरिक से डिफ्यूजन होता है सो दैट्स वाई देर इज ए ऑक्सीडाइज जोन सो इन दिस ऑक्सीडाइज जोन देयर इज कन्वर्जन ऑफ अमोनियम टू नाइट्रेट बाई द माइक्रोब्स सो एरोबिक माइक्रोब्स आर प्रेजेंट बट इन रिड्यूस जोन इन दिस दिस इज द रिड्यूस जोन दिस इज दिस इज द रिड्यूस जोन so anaerobic condition reduced zone means no air anaerobic condition so water is present so now this is diffused this ammonium ion is diffused into the reduced zone so water is present water is present and now this ammonium is present in this reduced zone now ammonium is present in oxidized zone which is subjected to nitrification and converted to nitrate ion and this nitrate ion are used by the plant and the another condition may be that ammonium ion is diffused into deeper layer with the water then now this ammonium is present so this ammonium may be used by the plants plant roots uptake by plant roots or used by microbes now this is the reduced zone water is present water is present in this entire zone so here a uh, type of microbes are different here aerobic microbes are present here anaerobic microbes are present here this is a reduced condition there is no oxygen that's why we are saying it is anaerobic yahan oxygen nahi hai isi kaun se hum isko anaerobic keh rahe hain reduce keh rahe hain so that's why there is no nitrosomonas and nitrovector nitrosomonas and nitrovector which are responsible for nitrification are aerobic microbes nitrosomonas or nitrovector se nitrification process hota hai ye aerobic microbes hote hain lekin yahan kya reduced zone hai oxygen nahi hai इस कारण से यहाँ नाइट्रोसोमनास और नाइट्रोवेक्टर नहीं होंगे दैट्स वाई देर इज नो नाइट्रिफिकेशन प्रोसेस सो दिस इज द रीजन दैट इन रिड्यूस जोन देयर इज नो नाइट्रिफिकेशन प्रोसेस बिकॉज हेयर एनरोबिक माइक्रोब्स आर प्रेजेंट एन ओरोबिक माइक्रोब्स आर प्रेजेंट मीन्स देर इज नो पॉपुलेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोसोमनास एंड नाइट्रोवेक्टर सो दिस एनरोबिक माइक्रोब्स यूज दिस अमोनियम आयन एंड दे कीप दिस अमोनियम आयन फॉर देयर बॉडी बिल्डअप for their uh, cell synthesis so it means ammonium ion is present inside the body of this microbes so this this is called immobilization so here this is immobilization what is Im immobilization means the presence of this ammonium ion in the microbial tissue or microbial cell and this is immobilized so this is this process is called immobilization whenever nutrient is present in the cell of uh, bacteria fungus or ectomycetes or any microbes then it this process is called immobilization means uh, now it present in microbial body so now it is not available to the plant okay so here there is immobilization process there is diffusion this nitrification now this nitrate may be used by the plant may be used by plants or may be condition that it is soluble nitrate is highly soluble so it is also diffused into the reduced zone it is diffused in reduced zone and here it is subjected to anaerobic microbes so anaerobic microbes attack on this nitrate for oxygen so anaerobic can respire in absence of oxygen or some aerobic microbes are there and they use the oxygen present in nitrate so nitrate is there so they use this oxygen for their respiration and this nitrate is converted into no2 no n2o and n2 gas 
and these gas are escaped into the atmosphere. Nitrous oxide gas and N2 gas is escaped into the atmosphere because it is in reduced zone and this process is known as denitrification. So here it is denitrification. Denitrification. So in reduced zone, we see that nitrate ions are subjected to denitrification, ammonium ions are subjected to immobilization and in aerobic zone, aerobic layer, it is subjected to nitrification. So this is the change in nitrogen form. So it means the ammonium ion is present available to plant roots. So that's why this is the reason that if there is a water locked condition or submerged condition apply ammonium ion to the plant so that they may uh, plants may use the ammonium ion to agar submerged condition hai water locked condition hai to aise crop mein aisi condition unko ammonium containing fertilizer dena chahiye kyunki wahan ammonium ion to rahega ab yahan immobilized bhala hi ho gaya hai lekin after the death of the microbes it is released into the uh, soil so it is not lost from the soil it remain in the soil but in the microbial tissue यहाँ माइक्रोवेल टिश्यू माइक्रोवेल सेल में है जो कि माइक्रोब्स की डेथ कर रिलीज हो जाएगा सो अमोनियम आयंस आर अवेलेबल फॉर अपटेक बट नाइट्रेट आयंस आर डीनाइट्रिफाइड इफ वी आर यूजिंग द नाइट्रेट कंटेनिंग फर्टिलाइजर देन नाइट्रेट विल डिफ्यूज इनटू द रिड्यूस जोन एंड दिस नाइट्रेट आर कन्वर्टेड इनटू दिस नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड एंड नाइट्रोजन गैस बाय नाइट्रिफिकेशन डीनाइट्रिफिकेशन प्रोसेस एंड दिस इज लॉस सो नेवर यूज नाइट्रेट कंटेनिंग फर्टिलाइजर ऑलवेज यूज अमोनियम कंटेनिंग fertilizer in water locked condition or submerged condition so urea that's why urea is used because urea produce the ammonium ion so if this urea is placed in oxidized zone suppose urea is placed in oxidized zone then this ammonium formation then nitrate transformation then nitrate will be lost so it means urea should be placed in reduced zone deeper placement so that ammonium ion remain available for plant root no doubt some ion uh, some ammonium ion will be used by microbes but later on these uh, ammonium ion will be, will be released after the death and will be available to plant so this is the reason that in submerged condition or water locked condition use ammonium containing fertilizer and deeper placement into uh, uh, into the reduced zone and the plants which grow in the uh, water locked condition submerged condition like rice that's why prefer the ammonium ion because ammonium ion is present so this is the reason that rice prefer ammonium ion to ye pucha jata hai ki rice ammonium ion ko kyu prefer karta hai kyunki reduced condition mein ammonium ion hi rehte hain nitrate ion nahi rehte to other plants which grow under submerged condition or water locked condition prefer ammonium ion so this is the reason that preference of rice is to ammonium ion because when plant, uh, rice plant grow under submerged condition there is dominance of ammonium ion and rice plant can use this ammonium ion so this is the uh, reason that rice prefer ammonium ion under reduced condition because they remain dominant in the soil so if nitrate is there in submerged condition then there is a nitrate leaching it may be leached down so maybe condition that there is leached down so maybe leaching leaching of nitrate ions so this is the problem with the nitrate ions that they are leached either leached either leached or denitrified so this is the loss denitrification is lost leaching is lost and emulsion is a temporary loss it is not the permanent loss because the ammonium ion is microbial tissue and after the death of microbes ye release ho jati hai to emulsion a temporary loss hai permanent loss nahi hai but leaching is permanent loss denitrification is permanent loss so this is the dynamics uh, in change of uh, uh, ammonium ion and nitrate ion under submerged condition now uh, it would be clear ye aapko ab clear ho gaya hoga ki uh, what is oxidized zone what is reduced zone how the ammonium ion is converted into nitrate this take place in oxidized zone by nitrification process uh, for which nitrosomonas and nitrovector are responsible but this is the reduced zone there is oxygen deficiency so nitrosomonas and nitrovector are not present so this is the reason that ammonium is not converted into nitrate because aerobic microbes are not present so anaerobic microbes use this ammonium ion for their cell synthesis so it is immobilized otherwise this ammonium ion are available for the plant for their growth and the some nitrate which is produced in oxidized zone may be used by the plant but this quantity is very less it is highly soluble that's why it diffused into the reduced zone 
it may be leased down because it is highly soluble or the uh, microbes use the oxygen of this nitrate for their respiration and it is denitrified as a nitrous oxide or nitrogen gas so denitrification law so this is the change in nitrogen form under water locked or submerged condition so it means under water locked condition submerged condition which form of nitrogen is dominant कौन सी फॉर्म रहेगी वाटर आउट कंडीशन और समझ कंडीशन में अमोनियम आयन रहेगी अमोनियम आयन रहेगा सो प्लांट्स विच आर इफिशियंट इन यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ अमोनियम कैन सर्वाइव अंडर वाटर आउट कंडीशन सो राइस प्लांट हैज गुड इफिशियंसी एंड राइस हैज प्रिफरेंस फॉर अमोनियम आयन बिकॉज इट इज प्रेजेंट सो दिस इज द नाइट्रोजन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो यू शुड हैव क्लियर आइडिया अबाउट द ऑक्सीडाइज जोन एंड ऑक्सीडाइज जोन इज नॉट Uh, too deep it is uh, uh, approximately 1 cm or 5 mm 6 mm 10 mm because atmospheric uh, oxygen diffusion is very less distance water offer the resistance so and remember that the water potential of this summer's field is zero maximum water potential so, so this question may be asked so several question may be asked so which loss is maximum in water locked field summer's field denitrification and which ion is subjected to immobilization ammonium ion so plant prefer uh, which form of ion in reduced condition ammonium ion which fertilizer should be applied under water locked or submerged condition ammonium containing fertilizer where fertilizer should be placed in uh, reduced uh, zone so that uh, ammonium ions uh, remain available for the plant okay if it is uh, in oxidized zone then nitrate formation is take place and this nitrate is subjected to loss so this is the nitrogen uh, different form transformation in submerged ice or uh, submerged field thank you very much